Here's a couple of solutions to the November Power Query Challenge, which was basically taking this sort of data and converting it into a nice long list for each ticket. Stay tuned to the end for Eric Svensson's solution, which was just super clever. Um, thanks to everybody who submitted. There were so many this time. I wasn't able to look at them all. I apologize, but I will put a list of everybody's submissions into a folder. Links below. So here's the solutions. Um, let's go. So there were a few approaches that people came up with. It's interesting, you know, people said this was a relatively simple one. And I guess it was a relatively simple one if you knew how to do it. Um, and there were much fewer steps, but sometimes the beauty is in the detail and we'll see a couple of different approaches. So we want to turn this little list into a long list for each person, okay? So the first step as always is right click, get data from table slash range, um, or pull it into Power BI, whichever one you, you wanted to use. I'm then going to go into Power Query. I've already done that step. Uh, little tip, if you want to open up Power Query, just click the launch Power Query editor button. Personally, I've right clicked that and added it to my quick access toolbar. So my button is just here, ready for me to launch Power Query, okay? Right, so let's have a look. We've got the ticket data here. That's the one I've just pulled in. And then we can start building a few things off it. Now, just so I can do it a few times rather than doing it right here, I'm gonna right click and reference it. Okay, so there's my starting point. And let me just zoom in a little bit, okay. I'll collapse this little window so we can see stuff a little bit better. Right, so I answered this question on a forum and I did it a bad way. Well, not a bad way, but just seeing people's solutions coming in that were way simpler than mine. Okay, everyone does this in different ways. Um, this was my technique, which is not the best technique. Okay, I'll show you some better techniques that other people submitted in a second. And like I say, stay tuned for Eric's at the end because that was awesome. Right, so here we go. This is my technique. I said, right, I know I can get a, a list of items and I just wanted to break this apart to start with. So right click, split column by delimiter. Okay. And I then said, okay, let's just split it by each occurrence or good. So we've got these columns split apart. I then knew I wanted 10 rows for each ticket. So what I then did was this, I added a column, custom column. Okay. And I just put a little curly bracket, sorry, a curly one. Started it at one, dot, dot, and then went to the number of tickets. Okay. And then closed the curly brackets. And then I clicked okay. And that created me this little list. And in that little list, if I look down the bottom here, okay, if I look down, look here, there is one to 10. The next one has got one to five because there were five tickets, one to six because there were six tickets. I then expanded this, expand to new rows. I then did some maths adding up these columns. So, you know, adjusting for this was my starting point and I added this numerical sequence minus one. So let me just show you, this isn't the best way to do it. Okay, I like those two, add, okay. Notice that the formula then is starting at 102, but I wanted to start 101. So ticket range dot one plus custom minus one, enter. And this was my sort of solution, okay? And I can change this to uh, tickets, ticket number. Far from the best approach when you actually see how other people have done this. So there we go, Jeff, ticket number, right click, remove other columns, and we are good. Okay, awesome. Let's show you a, a better way. Okay, let's go back here where I added my custom column. All right, rather than this, and remind you that we've split this ticket range into two, rather than starting at one and then doing the maths. Okay, just do this instead. And this is what quite a few people did. We just go ticket range one, dot, dot, ticket range two, 
close the curly brackets, click OK. And then you've got this nice list, 1 to 10. Much easier, OK? Then expand, expand to rows, and you're done. Click, click, right click, remove other columns. Beautiful. OK? So, you know, well done to everybody who did it that way. I really like that way. OK, another way people did it was added a custom column. And some people added some formulas in, um, you know, and some other techniques. But there is a function called list numbers. OK, list numbers. Open the bracket. And it takes a start number and then a count. So the start number is ticket range one, comma, and then number of tickets. And then OK. And we get the same result. OK. 1001, 1002. So quite a few people, uh, Hase, uh, Chris Hazel, uh, Stefan, a few others did it that way. So awesome. Um, a really interesting technique by um, Victor Wang. Um, check that one out in the, in the links. OK, let me show you Eric's because this is cool, right? Check this out. He started back here. He started with this. OK, and adding to column, custom column. So what he did, he replaced the dash with a double dot. OK, so let's search for the replace. Uh, replace a replace text. That'll do. OK, open. Ticket range. Uh, replace the dash with dot dot. OK, let's just see what that looks like. That's not the end of it. Let's just see what that looks like. Click OK. So now I've got the dot dots. Right, let's go back into the formula. OK. If we then do this, OK, we want to take a curly bracket and put a curly bracket on the end to turn it into a list. All right. We get this list, but it's it's not what we really want. OK, it's just the just the item. This is the clever bit. OK. We change this, we put double quotes around it and then the old ampersand to join them together. And then the last one, we put an ampersand and double quotes. OK, so that's my, that's the formula, which again, if I click OK, just gives us that, which isn't anything great. And this is the magic. This is Eric's bit of genius here. Check this out. If you search for the word evaluate, here we go, expression dot evaluate. Open the bracket. Okay, we'll put this down here. And we'll put a little round bracket on the end. What it does, check it out, click OK. It's converted it into the list. So the expression dot evaluate function essentially says, hey, take this piece of text that looks like a function or a formula or something you want to do and actually run it. So check it out, expression.evaluate. It converts text. So a formula written as text, then basically runs that as if it was a formula. Brilliant, I never knew about it. So well done, Eric. Thanks to everyone who took part. Hope people find that useful. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thumbs up to Eric for a great solution and I'll catch you all later. Thank you.